Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and demo for you today on the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I have it in 510 Fair. So I'm going to do like I normally do in these videos. We'll talk about the pricing, the packaging, the claims. I'll show you a little demo and then at the end I'll wrap up with just kind of like my final thoughts and review on this product. So let's jump into it. So the price on this is going to vary based on where you live and where you purchase it from, but I've seen it anywhere from around seven to nine dollars in my area. Um, the packaging is just the same as the CoverGirl Gorgeous Foundation, so it's a nice like squeezy tubes type situation, so nice for traveling. You're not going to break it, you know, it's, I like it. It's very functional and I really like the branding on it. I think it's really pretty with the whole like blue, it matches the clean name, you know what I mean? Like the turquoise, like water matches the name clean. So I like the branding on it as well. As far as the claims go on this, this is what it says about it. CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream provides the perfect amount of coverage to even skin tone, hide blemishes, and keep you shine free all day. It's oil free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin, and lasts all day. So those are the claims. So now we're gonna get into a demo and we will wrap up with my review at the end. All right, so I'm gonna first start with one coat. So I'm gonna use my dual ended IT Cosmetics brush. I have used this BB cream with my hands or applied it with my fingers or, um, not my hands, but my fingers or a brush. And I like it both ways. Um, I just think a brush is, I don't know. I prefer a brush, but it's not a huge difference. It just is a little bit too much of a powdery sort of a finish to use my hands. You know what I mean? Like I prefer to use a more kind of emollient feeling. Like the Cosmetics um, CC Cream, I like to use my fingers to apply that. But with this one, it's a little bit more of a powdery finish. So I don't know why, but I just prefer to use a brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so here is one layer. So I think it has really good coverage, especially for being called a BB cream. I really think it's like medium sort of coverage, like light to medium, but it can be built up too. So I'm gonna apply one more layer in like mainly like my T-zone and I have some discoloration. So kind of any areas that I need a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna apply a little bit more so you can see it, but I'm impressed with the coverage of even just one layer. So with the second coat, you can really see that most of my discoloration is covered up. Um, I really don't have a lot of blemishes right now to cover, but I do have, you know, like my discoloration spots. So those are nicely covered. My under eye circles, you can still see, but I didn't really use a lot there. I prefer to use more of my concealer for that area, but I'm impressed with the coverage on this. Like if you apply a little bit less, you're going to have more of a light coverage, but if you apply even just a little bit more, you're going to get really like a true medium coverage. So I'm impressed with the coverage on it. Um, as far as the finish, it's really kind of like pretty matte. Like you can see it, it really doesn't have a lot of sheen to it. It's, I would say in between a satin and a matte. So if you are looking for more of like a dew or any kind of like a glow or anything, this is not for you. This is gonna be more of a satin matte. I mean, it does say matte. So I mean, and they let you know, but it's definitely delivering on that. It's definitely got that more satin to matte sort of a finish. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back for some more thoughts. Okay, so does this deliver on the claims? So it says, provides the perfect amount of coverage to, first off, yes, I think it has great coverage, to even skin tone, absolutely. High blemishes, yes, I think so. You know, for most of your blemishes, I think it would probably cover unless you need to do some color correction or something like that in addition to, but overall, I think it really does cover like a foundation would on a blemish. And then keep you shine free all day, Yes, I have been so impressed with the wear time on this. Looks great, like great coverage, but then it keeps that great coverage. Like I would say around the seven to eight hour mark, I start getting a little bit oily, but not bad. Like it's just a little bit and it's not breaking down. It really does stay on my skin. I just start to get a little bit more of a dewy look, but not even really dewy. It's just not quite as matte. It's more towards the satin-ish getting towards dewy, but not super duper oily. So I'm really impressed with the wear time on this too. Hasn't irritated my skin. It says suitable for sensitive skin. 
You know, I don't have super duper sensitive skin, but I'm slightly acne prone and can be a little bit sensitive and it hasn't bothered me. So, you know, hopefully most people with sensitive skin would be okay with this, but I know there are different levels of that, different sensitivities to ingredients. So that's going to depend on the specific person, but I love this, love the coverage, love how it lasts all day. I think it is a great go-to foundation BB cream sort of a product. It's awesome. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please send a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried this. What do you think about it? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.